Hi, <coughs> hello to wherever you are and uh, whatever time it is. It's morning here, or about 11, just gone. Um, we're going to do today Perosso pre shave, which is on many. Sandalwood Monday, lovely bit of stuff that is. Yaki 24 Galaxy, I believe it is, with a Timber Wolf, Timber Wolf or not, something like that. But the razor. This is a John Watts hmm. little, I think roughly Victorian time frame back uh, that I got for ten pounds forty off of eBay, which I thought was a deal. Needed a bit of restoration. Last time I put an edge on it, I wasn't mega happy with it. It's got a bit of a smiling blade, um, you know, X strokes and all that, or whatever they call it, which I didn't really get on with. So I took it back to the stone this morning, had a better go, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, I'll get myself sorted and we'll be back. <coughs> so, sorry. <coughs> It's about 48 hours growth so let's see how I did I'm not so sure about this one I have a backup plan if it goes tits up Whiskers. Definitely taking whiskers off.
Very nice. First pass done, not, not bad, much better than I did before. Pretty good bed reduction. The progression was 1k Chosera, 3k Tresera. 8k Shapton, then Imperial La Roca Premium, and then a buttload of stropping. On my Bobby G Strop Latigo leather which incidentally is magnificent pretty good. Like I said, I think it's around about Victorian era. I'm not an expert on <coughs> razor history, I'm afraid.
Yeah, the real Linux. Interesting. Pattern on the stone. Heel leading. And then sort of try and roll the pressure from heel to toe as you go through the stone. <clears throat> Which is not easy. Yeah, it definitely uh, took me a while to get in the groove of that one. Now, could I do better? Yes, of course. stones have a shave and then think oh I could probably improve on that it's the nature of it I think well some some of us um, but I'll tell you it's not bad and I don't mean that in a big headed way either but here's the one that will really 
show what happens. Obviously I'm not the best straight razor shaver either. But I do try. Okay, I see. feel too bad and then down here is normally where it's this is another part of my neck I don't often go against the grain there, if you know what I mean. I do it sort of once every uh, couple of shaves. Is that a little one there? Tiny little weeper. Well, normal bit there, but not horrific. Not something you'd. Uh, I anyway would think, oh, I need to chase that. <sighs> nice flat angle with the, the spine nearly touching the your flesh, so you're not at a steep angle, for me anyway. left-handed so this is the tricky part no Sweeney Todd's please comfortable. A little bit in the spots there which I'll leave it when I say a little bit it is a little bit as well. So so far it's good way 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 better than I did before but like I said I hadn't really got the rolling X. I found that difficult when you apply the pressure through your fingers from sort of heel to toe, getting that right for me was a hard part because I'm a klutz. 
so I push too hard or I don't put even sort of as it comes down the stone halfway then to roll the pressure because it's a bit wonky that blade and I don't really want to start hacking the life out of the spine to get it straight plus you won't ever get it dead straight of course because it's a smiler not a big smiler but it has got a smile on it okay now for the trickier part let's see Frame backs are wonderful things. Again, I'm left-handed, so I don't get so near my ear, that side. Very nice. Chin is another tricky area. Fast forward, gentlemen, is the key. <laughs> and 
Lovely. Okay, let's see. A little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there. I don't like getting close to my ears. <laughs> I like them where they are. Okay, this is going long. This is long again, sorry. Um, I get sorted out and we'll come back for the post. Thank you. And we're back, post shave. So, two. That way, no, that way anyway, you can see what it is. Prusso red, sandalwood. Oh, mate. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, lovely, lovely cream. Lovely pre-shave. Um, usual bowl. Yaki. Timberwolf knot. I think they call it the Galaxy, actually. Lovely brush. I've got two more, three more brushes inbound this week. Two Yakis, one PAA. Um, after alum, some bracing, I think you call it, not really stinging, but you know. Uh, then Hawkins and Bimble, Brimble after shade balm, which I really like. And then this. Get in there, what's the matter with you? So yeah, little John Watts Sheffield. Um, I believe it's Victorian-ish. But it's low, yeah, so th this time, I've got it bang on the money. Really, really nice shave. BBS in some places, DFS in others, but that's just my shaving technique. Um, you know, I'm still learning. Uh, so, but, Lovely little razor, £10.40. I mean, come on. Yeah, all right, I have to buy the memory paper and give it some jip and then put it across the stones. First time didn't go too well. It was all right, shaved, but it wasn't quite. But this time I've, I don't want to say nailed it because I'm not an excellent owner. You know, I can get by. Uh, but yeah, worked out really well. Lovely shave. One tiny weeper there, a little bit of irritation there, but not irritation, I always get it when I go down, but half hour, that'll go away. Or oh, of course, nearly forgot. Magic made by witches, stay as cucumber. So yes, and that is magic because, like I said, 10, 15 minutes, the red will go away. And it'll be a great shave. So yeah, I've had a good shave. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll catch you again. Cheers. Bye.